She is Agboma, one of the beautiful maidens in Adagbowele. Even her enemies do not fail to turn round when she walks past in order to admire her beauty. Agboma is said to have gotten her beauty from her maternal grandmother, Wanyi Manari. Why a manary indeed a name says at all she is Agboma's maternal grandmother. Everyone believes Agboma got her beauty from her. Why Manari's memory will live forever in the hearts of her people because the historic Egwejele, the famous but sacred song that revives the weak and strengthens the downtrodden, ended with Why Manari. Since she died 27 years ago, nobody in the land has managed to sing Egwejele. Please come. Uh, please. Who are you? Ogwefi, you heard her refer to me as Papa Nuku. And you still ask that question? Anyway, anyone can call an old man Papa Nuku. It means different things to different people. <laughs> and please, tell me, who are you? With it. Let me tell you, she's a bomber, my daughter's child. Oh, yes. You mean she is Oda Ligwe's daughter? <laughs> what do you mean? Do I have two daughters? <laughs> mm. <laughs> see, I see a resemblance. What I am seeing is a replica of your wife. Wine Manare. How do you mean? I, I don't understand. Uh, yeah. Yeah, one. Hmm. My daughter. Listing and listing good. Wine Manare. On a good day, when the time is right. Hmm. Shall send you a young man. Who will teach you how to sing a wage if you listen to him and learn it, you shall make a greater impact than one manare made during a lifetime. 
Both of you will recreate history. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Am I talking to a human being or this tree? Who's on me? Aboma. Did you hear a thing I said? Were you even listening to me? About Wayfair Obalo, right? Yes. Or have I said any other thing since we got here? And what is it he said again? About the man that's one in Manari, we will send to teach you a gradually, right? I'm not even concerned about that. What about why you? Aboma, you shouldn't take whatever Owefia Obalu told you to heart. And even allow it to bother you. Well, I am not bothered as you can see. No, you are. Because you've been going on and on about it. You shouldn't allow it to bother you. Do you not know who Obwefi Obalu is? I don't know him. I only met him for the first time that day. Obwefi Obalu is a talkative. So you shouldn't allow whatever senseless ideas he puts into your head bother you. But, you but know, if you insist on letting it bother you, then I think I should just leave and go somewhere else where people who think straight are. that's irresponsible why has everyone in the village written him off oh if your balo talks too much although he claims to be a seer but there's no day in this kingdom that he doesn't visit all the halls where men live in just to have an avenue to talk i don't see him as being irresponsible because all the things he talked about didn't seem out of point oh if your balo does not talk sensibly Especially when there's a plate of cola nuts in front of him. What does that mean? A lot of people have stopped offering him cola nuts because it is believed that once he sees one, he start talking rubbish. Was your grandfather breaking cola nuts when he said that to you? Yes. There was a plate of cola nuts in their midst. And as a matter of fact, he was looking at the cola nut when he was saying what he was saying. Exactly my point. Forget about him and whatever he has said to you. A man has never done a wage in a song before. So why would my mother send someone to teach you that? Eh? Hmm. Just forget about him and his useless words. Go and check whether your father has finished it so that you can clear the plates. Inugo. Is something wrong? Are you the one she sent to teach me? I'm I'm sorry. Are you the one my grandmother sent to teach me the song? Egwe Jule Eguego. Your grandmother. Who is she and what is Egwe Jule? My grandmother is Wanyi Manari and Egwe Jule is a song you were just singing. Sorry, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Are you joking? Egwejule, the song you were just singing now. My grandmother was the last person to perform it before she died and he died with her. Are you the one she sent to teach me the song? Oh, 
Nobody can convince me otherwise. Could this be the reason why you brought me back from the farm? You are giving what Obu Efi Obalu said they thought? At first when he was singing, I thought I was dreaming. Then he woke me up when he walked up to me. The melodious tune from his lips immediately. I lost my senses. I lost my senses when I was listening to him. But thank the gods because they rescued me. And I came back to my senses just before he walked away. I chased after him. You may be right. Or wrong. What do you mean by that? What about the old woman? She was very beautiful. And a good singer. She labored all night teaching me the song. I woke up. And the song would not leave my lips. You know, I don't even understand how I got to Adabowele. All I could remember is, as soon as I stepped my feet into the path that led to Iye's stream, I had the inclination to sing the song. This is all so frightening and mysterious. I think you are right. I came to Adabowele in a mysterious guide and direction. Would you mind telling me about yourself? My name is Ozobialo, son of Ezu of Umuizu. And you, would you mind telling me about yourself? Is what Obuefe Walu said not coming true? Because the man confirmed that an old woman came to him in his dream. And how and when he got to Adabowele is what he could not comprehend. Never! I don't wish to hear anything like that. You don't wish to hear anything about what? I don't wish to hear about that man or, or, or always or anything. I don't wish to hear that. Mama, why? Why are you sounding like this? I'm talking to you about a man who I believe was probably sent to me by my grandmother, Wai Manari, to teach me a way, Julie. I said, do not mention that again. Are you deaf? This is Ogunkwa, the sacred hill where people come to invoke the gods. Gods of my mother's land. <gasps> Look at me. Look at your daughter that has done nothing but try to keep her. Look at what a man of Umezu has done to me. He took away my virginity forcefully. He has made my long wait useless. I trampled on my humanhood. On the sacred hill of Uwuba. With my tears and my blood of my virginity, I lay cold on the wind. They will never see anything good. They will know no peace of progress. As long as this pain bothers my heart. <laughs> Never! Never! 
Mama, you're not saying anything to me. Keep me from saying anything about what happened to me. I have said all that needs to be said. Forget about that man from Umuiz and whatever you think he represents. But Mama, I have... I forbid you about my... Kai, forbid you. Get the vegetables ready. Where is the firewood you went to fetch? Firewood? Yes. Firewood. Oh, oh, wasn't that what you set out early this morning to go and get? Mama, you did not come back with any firewood. Instead, you came back with a stupid tale about that man from Umwezu. Mama, I fetched the firewood, but I forgot it. You forgot it? Where? I'm coming. Let me How? Go get. I'm coming to get. What is wrong with her? I have been so disturbed since that day. The worst is that my mother does not want to hear anything about it. I only wish my father is back from the settlement. Maybe he will understand. I do not understand any of this. How can a man come out from nowhere and claim that the spirit taught him a gradually? Hard to believe, but it is true. Remember that Obuefe Obalu told me it was going to happen. Oh, please, do not bring in Obuefe Obalu into this. But it is clear, it is crystal clear, Ozon Mili. Okay, he sang the song to me perfectly. Perfectly. What about the dream? Was it fake too? <laughs> I would have given this a second thought if this man was to be from Adabo Wele. Now tell me, why would your grandmother teach a man from Umwezo, the famous Egwe Jule, when we have able and worthy men in Adabowele? I don't know. I don't know what to think. What do I do? I think you should just forget every encounter you must have had with that man. Yes, for your own good. And please, I do not want to talk about this anymore. It's strange. Dancing. What were you dancing to? 
I am not going to warn you again. Wherever you got that from, better send it back. Like a mad woman to you. So what do you want me to call this? Hey, I hear the song anytime, everywhere. Even now? No, it usually comes when I'm all alone. Reasons I said you are gradually turning into a mad woman. Yes, because you alone hear the song and you equally dance to it. Yeah, you better watch it because in Yawara, I don't have control over it. But you can control the way you move your body to the rhythm, I suppose. Why does my best friend not understand me? How can she call me a mad woman? Hey, you're a mad woman. I'm talking to you. I'm Trust me when I say this. I will not bother you about this matter anymore. If you do not discuss this with me, tell me, which other of your friends will you discuss such delicate issues? You know what? Let's just forget about all of these people. Let's forget it. Agbama! Agbama! Ujumwa, <laughs> Kadu. I, I was at your hut earlier and your mother told me you already left for the stream. That was on me, I'm out of here. Who's up to? Is she okay? Please, I am very busy right now. A woman, please. Are you okay? Don't I look okay? You look okay, but your attitude does not. Mm. A woman, you no longer visit me at home. Mm. We don't even hang out together as friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, are we not friends again? You have said it all. I no longer visit you. We no longer hang out as friends. Does that connote that we're still friends? Are you that daft? A woman, did I do something wrong? Ujumwa, so, I will rather go solo than be with someone that stabs me at my back, that, 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 that castigates me behind my back. I can't be with you. And let me warn you, I don't want to see you around here again. Inuke! Abama! Hey! People! Imagine the rubbish. What does she think she is? 
She had the ghost to come to my house to ask me that stupid question. I'm even disappointed at you for even listening to her. It was because of the friendship we shared now. What's rubbish friendship? Was she thinking about the friendship when she went about saying all those rubbish about you? Nah, I don't blame her. I blame myself. I blame my level of tolerance. The same quality I inherited from my grandmother, Mwai Manari. Please leave your grandmother out of this. I blame you for not sweeping her out of your compound. Hey. Why are you taking this personal? Ujumwa offended me, not you. Aboma, you are my friend. And I care. Anyone who offends you, offends me too. You know that. I know and I appreciate it. Thank you for always having my back. It's okay. Now sit down. I am happy you have realized how poisonous a snake Ujumwa is. Please sit. Let me get you food. Oh. You should have swept her out of your company. I have heard. She will not come back again. resist all things but the ought to dance to that song I cannot. Hey Abuma please stop this madness. What is all this? Nebiko don't refer to it as madness. Oh don't. That song is intense and as a good dancer of Adabowele I had to dance when the music is moving Biko. Hey Abuma please you have to stop at least not here again. Before people will think I, I I brought you here to drive you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Just admit it. You cannot shake it. You're a bad dancer. Sit down. Begin to get me. Hey, Aboma, you're, 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 you're oh, beginning man. to scare me. That scares you. Oh. You made this one for me. Hmm? How do I continue like this? Eh? It is becoming more constant. I cannot resist the urge to dance whenever I hear it. The worst is that no other person hears this song, so they see me as a lunatic whenever I hear it and dance. Grandmother, did you actually speak through a way for your mother? Did you teach Ozobiel the song in his dream? And did you send him to Adabowele to meet with me? What do you want me to do? Mm. 
Woma, you have lost it. I will say it again and again. You have lost it. My friend, I have not lost anything. If you put yourself in my shoes, you will understand. In what shoes? Why are you bent on making yourself look stupid? You went to Mudioka to do what exactly? My grandfather who was there when he spoke is dead. I had no choice than to go and look for Obwe Fiobalo. I had to travel to Umudioka to look for him and when I got there they told me he died last year. I am so devastated right now. Good for you. Good for you, he is dead. Maybe you will come back to your senses now. Who's on me? Even if Obwe Fiobalo is dead, what about the man from Umwiz? What about my inability to get him off my mind? What about the song he sings for me? I want to get, I want to get this straight. What exactly do you want? The man or the song? Hey! For the very first time, you ask a credible question. My friend, I will not lie to you. I will tell you as it is. I cannot get that man out of my head. Even if I try to shut my ears from hearing the music, he is still on my mind. You're, you're here in Adamo when you're thinking of a total stranger that came singing a strange song to you. And what does that make you, if not a fool? Ozomi, I am not a fool. Don't call me names. He is not a total stranger, and the song he sings is a wedgie, and, and nothing. Abuma, you are losing it, and you need someone to assist you regain your senses. Who saw me? I am not insane. Stop saying that. I need to see that man again. He told me where he lives. It's just that my mother forbids me from going to Umwezu for anything. Obviously, she believes you're crazy. Are we not saying the same thing? I don't know what her reasons are, and frankly, I do not care. It's not my concern. What I'm concerned about is seeing that man again, because if I do not, I might just go crazy. Ah, thank the gods she's finally admitting that she's no longer the Aboma I used to know. My take in this, if your mother forbids you from visiting Umezu for any reason, then I advise you forget that man and take him off your head. Meanwhile, are you not going with me to Chichi's hut again? Okay. I already know what the answer is. But please, do not come asking for your own share of the meat that will be divided amongst the maidens. Uzo, did you say Aboma is alright? Yes, she is. Why? I'm just wondering why she didn't come to help Uchechi in cooking. Maybe she's just jealous of Uchechi. Uzo, jealous? Why would she be jealous? Why would she not be jealous? Why would Aboma not be jealous? Having rejected all those suitors, and it doesn't seem like any is coming anytime soon. So tell me, why would she not be jealous of Uchichi getting married? Mm-hmm. Listen to yourself. She rejected the suitors, not the other way around. So tell me, why would she be jealous that another maiden is getting married? If you ask me, who do I ask? I'm just worried about her attitude towards me. Uzo, imagine Aboma telling me that I am castigating her behind her back. Me? Why would I do such a thing? And why are you getting yourself worried over that? Why? Uzo. Why are you walked up? Uzo, Uzo! Uzo, listen. We have been friends all our lives. Tell me, why would I castigate Aboma for anything? Why? It's just, it's just... Why would she have this role? Oh. I can't even comprehend. I don't understand. Where is this coming from? Where are they coming from? I don't get it. Ujumwa, I advise you think about other important issues. Like how to get a man for yourself. 
just like Ibe is coming to see Puchechi's parents today. And as for your friendship with Abomba, I think you should stop forcing yourself on someone who does not want or care about you. Meet me inside. Adoko, are you not supposed to be inside but you're doing what you know best? And what do you think I know best? <coughs> Why do I sense anger in your voice? You know makeup more than us, so we give it to you. I expect you to leave us while we do the cooking. Go inside and assist Uche Chin and makeup. If you ask me, when you have your points. <coughs> what useless points does she have? <coughs> oh my wall. What will you have us do? Nothing, just go back to where you're coming from and allow us to do what we are doing. Did you just talk to me? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you? No, no, hey, would you want? I want to hear it a second time. Did you just talk to me? Mm -hmm. Is she going to No, 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 I want to know. This is Do not do anything that will make sense. I just want her to say it a second time. Can you just talk to me? I can bet my life that when this food is done, it will come out not being tasty. I want to hear. I want to hear. Oh, Mahatma, Korea, Korea. When this food is done, it will come out not being tasty. Can you just talk to me? Hey, Papa, I have missed you so much. What took you so long? That is because you and your mother refused to go to the settlement with me. And I did all the farm work alone. But you hired three men with you. What happened to them? No hired man can do another man's job like him. They were there, but I was doing everything alone. <laughs> I trust you. I trust you and your strength. Okay, Nam. Uh, it is good to have you back. Oh. Thank you so much. Uh, At a point, I was contemplating coming to the settlement to look for you. <laughs> like what Abama? Abama, you come to the farm, and that should be your next life. <laughs> anyway, how are you people doing? We are very well, Papa. Uh, what about your mother? Where is she? She went to Okekugu's okay, house. His daughter Chech is getting married today. Really? Yes, Papa. What are you doing at home yeah? You I should have been there to celebrate with I you. was waiting for you. Come and rest. Come inside. Come and rest. Then we can go and join them. <laughs> <laughs> How is that even possible? I don't know. Why should why am I married with that? I don't know. But I think she's unhappy Igwe Julie died with her. It should not be so. The man that said she appeared to him. What is the connection? Nothing is clear at the moment and that is because mother has refused for me to take things further. I need to meet with that man to get more details. And why is your mother stopping you? I don't know why. I am not happy about it. I need to meet with him to get some details from him. There's something about that man that fascinates me. So, she didn't even wait for you to settle before telling you her stupid tale. If anything, the so-called tale sounds interesting and not stupid. Really? Yes. So, what makes it interesting? That a, a total stranger signed a wedule. Or, or, or that he equally claimed an old woman who Abomanan believed to be one in Manare taught him the song in his sleep. What kind of rubbish is that? At least, there should be a chance to see whether it is true or not. Don't you think so? I don't understand what you mean. Obuefi. Obalu. Ozokwa told our daughter something to this effect. Credible people should not dismiss such things. 
without any effort to find out if it is true or not. Why are you bringing a boy your into this? Eh? Listen, I will never ever support my only child to go on with this madness. And I think you should stand with me. Why? Give me one reason we should not give her support. One reason? Just one reason. It is total madness. It, it, it is crazy. I don't want it and so shall it be. And I'm done talking about this. Good night. Oh, catch it for me. You have spoken now. You will not try a matter. I heard everything you said. I told you she would not agree. If I never zono wakaliana, mane wale fa gezo gide noa, ezi ni mo, ezo fuendo maduo. Asim ne fa ne zono werika, if I never zono wakaliana, mane wale fa gezo gide fe. How are you, my beautiful Odali? Oh, no, I'm fine. Uh, have you seen her, Boma? I've not seen her since I woke up. I need her to take the palm nose to Mkwadi cell, but I've not seen her. Um, I sent her to my sister's house at Umudioka. You are joking, aren't you? Joke? Yes. Does this sound like a joke? How come nobody told me about it? Odali Igwe. You should always remember that this is my house and I am the head. Must I always take permission from you for whatever I do in this house? Huh? Hey, I, I know you are the head of this house, but she's my daughter. You can't just send her out like that. Okay, okay who is going to take the palm nose to Mkwa? Is it you? You carry the palm nose. Go to Mkwa market and sell the palm nose yourself. Go to Mkwa and sell the Mkwa. I had expected you to do that yeah. since you sent her out. Yeah. He, he comes back and everything changes. Every time he's come, he comes back. That's how he, he will just turn everything upside down. I guess I will leave you for now. Are you sure we are at the right place? Yes, of course. Here is the place. Wait, it is only priests of deities and traditional healers that decorate their gates like this. Are you sure you have brought me to the right place? You are at the right place. Except it's not Ozo Belezu. If the name you just mentioned now, nah, Ozo Belezu, this is where you can find him. Yes. I think, you see a prince. No, no. His father is the Ezu of Umez. He ranks after the king. I will take my leave now. You go in and ask of him. How am I sure this boy knows what he's saying? I hope I'm not making a terrible mistake.
Njo, njo do twa ne me bi sin obodo. <laughs> sorry, sorry about the hug. It was too tight. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I liked it. I feel like hugging you again. You came. Why? I don't know why. Maybe because I couldn't get you out of my mind. Me too. I've been longing to see you. If I knew your place, I could have come. Good to see you again. Uh, sorry. Oh, come, come with me. A queen like you should not be kept with you. Come. Please. This is beautiful. Thank you. Why should I not be worried? Eh? What is the distance from here to Mudioka? Udala, you worry so much. Eh? You don't expect my daughter, Abomma, to just go to my sister's house, drop my message with her, and come back immediately. Why not? She left this house before I woke up. I have gone to the market and came back, and she not, she's not yet here. And you expect me not to worry? She doesn't usually visit my sister's house. And this is a very good opportunity for her to catch up with her cousins. Besides, you don't know whether my sister will hold her back for days. Nani, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Like why? Uh... That girl is my child. I have the right to everything concerning her. And who is denying you your right over your daughter? Who that I know so who? Ah ah, okay. You're back. Juma, you are right. Back from where? Hey, Ujumwa, back from where? Do you not know when someone does not want to talk to you? Or don't you know how to respect yourself? It worries me, really. The way you talk to me now. I think we are seasoned enemies. Agbomma, it is me, Ujumwa. Your bosom friend. Bosom friend, my foot. What did I do? What is my offense? Why have I wronged you? Tell me. Ujumwa Biko. Before I met you, I was on my way home happily. Let me go and think of things that will bring me joy. And you know, I am not in the mood for all these your pretenses. Agbomma. Biko. Agbomma. Agbomma. Mother, I, I didn't want to wake you up when I left very early in the morning. So, when did it become an abomination at Dagbowele to wake up a sleeping woman? I didn't wish to do so, Mama. And, and you're just coming back now. What happened to your sense of responsibility? Oh, Mother, I hurriedly swept the compound before leaving this morning. There's nothing wrong with my sense of responsibility. Really? Yeah, then you're back. Yes, Papa. You're welcome. Thank you, Papa. How is my sister? She's fine, Papa. My nephews and nieces? They're doing well, Papa. Good. Uh, please, get my snuff box for me. Okay. Thank you, Papa. I, I, I was still talking to that girl. Uh, questioning her? Odala Maloma. Just rest. And allow that poor girl 
to rest from the long journey. Whatever. If I need this on the way, if I need this on the way, Kaliana, my name will be Fagazogi. You tell me you went to Mizu. Is that not what I'm doing now? Because don't interrupt me again. No? Uh -huh. but wait, wait, wait. But your mother forbade you from going to Mizu. Do you want me to tell you this story or not? Okay, okay. Go on, please. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It was a royal treatment. At that moment, I felt like a princess. I felt like a queen. This is the song of love. His love has never seen. This is the song of love. This love is a mystery. This love can move mountains. This love can heal our wounds This love can create all things Who can stand in the way of love Oh, this is the song of love It's love has never seen This is the song of love This love is a mystery This love can move this love can heal our wounds This love can create our peace Who can stand on the way of love um, Are you okay now? Yes The food was something else Very delicious but not as wonderful as the services that accompanied it. Talking about hospitality? It was on point. <laughs> At a point I couldn't feel myself anymore. I thought there was a princess living in me and I was watching her get entertained. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you are more beautiful and gracious than any princess I know. The treatment you just received is the treatment we give to everybody who comes around here. Any visitor, I mean, that is, irrespective of their status. Yes, without beggars or kings. But now, I want to give you the treatment meant for special people like you. Maidens! I am very positive that no princess has ever been treated that way. It was like heaven on earth. I can understand that. No, you don't understand. That is not it all. When I was ready to leave, he had something in store for me. Even though I was not even in the mood to leave. He bade me farewell with a special one. That was nothing like I've ever experienced. I wish I could do more to add more smiles on your beautiful face. You have done enough already. You know, the moment I saw you, my heart melted. I haven't felt this way for a woman before. I wish I could stay longer. But my people will be worried if I don't return home soonest. I will keep the memories of today in the deepest part of my heart. Okay, allow me to add more memories to you. You've done enough already. Just one more. Everywhere, 
Te budi so e bu eju lege me si fe ni le ma Kanyi ku pa no e bu eju le E bu eko e bu eju le E bu di so e bu eju le E bu ne ti wali boza E bu eju le E bu eko e bu eju le E bu di so e bu eju le ge me si fe ni le ma E bu eju le E bu eko e bu eju le E bu di so e bu eju le ge me si fe ni le ma Kanyi ku pa no e bu eju le E bu eko e bu eju le E bu di so e bu eju le Bu ne ti wali bo uza E bu eju le E bu eko e bu eju le E bu di ma e bu eju le E bu ne ti wali bo uza E bu le bu eju le E bu eko e bu eju le E bu ne do so e bu eju le E bu ne ti wali bo uza I have never felt like that for any man and, and what can it be called? Love at first sight. Or maybe not. Or who knows? We are soulmates. Because it felt as if we've known each other before now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, you met him once on your way from Firewood Hall. No, not that kind of meeting. Not at all. There's a special feeling I felt, like we're married or something. I felt that close to him. You don't mean it, do you? I do, my friend, I do. And the most important part of it all is that he feels exactly the same way for me. The moments I shared with him were the most memorable moments of my life. I can't wait to be in his arms again to for him to hold. Aboma, 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 you have to slow down. You really have to slow down. This sounds very strange to me because we do not talk about men like this. Exactly my point. It makes me now know that Osobial is different from every other man I've met. I have never felt like this for another man. My friend. There's a whole lot I am not telling you. Let me go home. Help my mother with the house chores. And when I come back, I will tell you everything as it is in my heart. Go. Your mother has gone out. Go ahead before she returns. How did you see the man? What did he tell you about the song? The song. Yes. What song? A great love course. Was not that why you went looking for him in the oh, first place? Oh, yes. He performed a wedgule for me at the end of my stay there. But the most important thing mm. happened when he presented the man of my dreams to me. What should I mean? Papa, yes. I looked into his eyes and I saw the man my heart beats for. And interestingly, he feels the same way for me too. No, there is no way this is true. A woman didn't come here, did she? She didn't tell me all that plays out in my head right now. But it's true. Your doubt cannot change anything. Aboma, your friend, seems to have found the love of her life. No, it can't be. How could she have? Even if she found love, it shouldn't be that man she just described to me. Ozobialu is one of the best men any woman can have. And that is exactly my problem! Why would a woman have a man before me when I, Ozobialu, is still single and searching?
can't see this. Hey, imagine her guts. Coming to tell me she was treated like a princess. But that is true. Also, Bielo seems to love her so much. Like she said, it was love at first sight. And you should see them. They look perfect together. Stop talking, you silly voice. I don't know who you are. Just stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. I'm well today, Mama. I don't think so. So what are you doing hanging around here? I hope you've not joined the league of these useless maidens who hang around stupid men. The gods forbid. Ah, oh, Mama, you know me better than this. Well, people do change. So why did you stop me? I've been waiting for the day you walk past our compound so I could brief you on what's going on. I'm very excited seeing you today. Really? You want to tell me something? So, has anybody forbidden you from entering my compound? No, Mama. What I want to tell you requires I meet you outside your court. It's about a woman, Mama. What is it? I love Aboma so much that I will never watch her go astray without trying to save her. Mama. <laughs> oh, who's on me? Spill it. What about my daughter? Mama, you see Aboma. 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 Yes, sir. Can I Yes. Can Aboma. I'm here. Aboma, Biaba. Aboma, when did you grow old in this house? To obey, to disobey me. Eh? What is it? I am still your mother and you must do as I say in this house. What, what have I done this? wrong, eh? Mama? What have you not done wrong? What is the meaning of this? Do you want to kill my daughter? Now, the meaning of that is that this girl here is a fool. She is not only disobedient, but she is a blatant liar. What did she do? And what lie did she tell here now? Come back and show Abom man, where did you go to that day before I woke up? Where did you go? Of course, she went to see my sister at Umudioka. She went to see your sister at Umudioka? Yes. Can you confirm that, Nai? Can you confirm that she was actually there? Of course. I saw Okeke, my sister's husband, at the bush market this afternoon. And he confirmed that to me. Omenboji. Yes? Omenboji. Uh, For the sake of peace in this family, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't want to believe that what I'm thinking was what actually happened. What are you thinking? Did you support a woman going to Umudioka and use your sister as a cover-up? Did you? What kind of ridiculous question is that? Sister? It's not a ridiculous question. It is not. Did anybody tell you that she did not go to uh, Umudoka that day? I got what I am saying from a reliable source. Abomma, did you go to Umuizu that day? Did you? Uh, Mama, I, I, of course not. I didn't go to Umuizu. You know you forbade me from going there. Mm. How will I go there, Kwan? Abomma, you didn't go to Umuizu. Can you narrate the same tale you gave to Zomili of me? About how you went to Mwezu and you were treated like a princess. Or did you make that story up? Did you? I want my am waiting. If 
evil spirit has possessed a man. You can't forbid her from going to Mwezu without any good reason. Is that why she flaunted my orders? You cannot make orders. In my house is my house. I am the head. Abomma is my daughter. I should have a say in her life. Nobody is disputing that. But can you at least be reasonable when doing that? How dare she disobey me in that manner? How dare? Udala, this is a case of our ancestors trying to restore what was lost. Why, Imanari? Once a wedule to come alive again. The same Egwejule that gives hope to the hopeless and restores strength to the weak. In her wisdom, she has sent somebody... And that is exactly my problem. That is exactly my problem. Why must she send somebody from whom is to achieve that? In that foolish daughter of yours had the gods to develop feelings for that man. Who taught her that? You? Was that how you brought her up? Very good. May I know something here? Put me through. What is the real problem? Is it because this man is from Umwezu? Or that Aboma already likes him? Both! Ome Moji, I am against both of them. Never. Never with my child, my daughter, or anybody related to me have anything to do with Umwezu people. I me and me. Never. Serious. This is serious. This is serious. This is serious. Always the people are very good people. They're so caring when it comes to taking care of strangers. Umwezu people can give their food to total strangers and go to bed in empty stomachs. They are the best. But what does she have against Umwezu people anyway? Ah. The gods, the gods answer prayers. I was hoping my strong friend would walk in and help me with this. Here she is. Please help me. Amoma, why do you look like you just fought with spirits? What is it? Not one more step forward. How could you do that, Uzomi? I trusted you to keep it to yourself. Keep what to myself. What is it? Now that you have told my mother and my house is on fire, are you happy? Now that my mother knows about my visit to Osobial, have you been awarded the most gracious maiden in Adabowole? Or are you going to marry Prince Anayo of Adabowole? What? Are you telling me the truth or is this a joke? Mama, it's been bothering me. And you know I cannot joke with such a thing. Aboma did not only go to Mwezu. She was treated like a princess. And equally fell in love with Ozobia. Wait, wait. No. My daughter has not gone crazy yet. It's either the man has hypnotized her or she's just crazy. I'm going to sort that no, out. Mama, mama. I still care about Aboma. I know you forbade her from going to Moizu. And I know you did it for a good cause, which will benefit her. Hence, I didn't condone her disobedience to you. Zomi, thank you for your genuine care. I appreciate it. Mama, please. 
if she finds out I told you this, she will be very mad at me. I still value our friendship. Please. Don't worry about that. Have no worries at all. Now let me see how she will come back with more of her stupid love tales. Ufamil, I ask you, what do you plan to gain from what you have just done? Look at what you have done to me. My house is on fire because you could not keep your mouth shut. Abuma. There is a mix-up somewhere. Did your mother tell you I said anything? Did she tell you I said anything to her? Not only are you a betrayer, you're also a liar. No. How you managed to deceive me all this while is what I cannot explain. That is not a nice thing to say to a friend that has been there for you all this and years. And messes it up with a destructive gossip. I trusted you, Ozomili. I could trust you with my life. I, you cannot accuse me falsely. I ask again, did your mother tell you she got the information from me? Me, Uzomili? Even if she did not say she got the information from you, you are the only one that knows of that visit. But no other person in this kingdom knows of that visit but you, Uzomili. But the winds have ears. Remember we said that in the open. Someone else must have heard about it and, and, and go to your mother with it. Woman, I cannot hurt you. You know that. Indeed. And to answer your question, yes, my mother mentioned your name. She said you were the one who told her of my visit to Umwis and my consequent attraction to Osorbiale. Now, I hope the winds did a good job blowing it away. Why would this woman do this after she promised me that I had no reason to worry? Well, I have achieved my aim. I'll find a way and make up with her. And now that Juma is out of her life, she will find it easy and necessary to accept me. you mean by such a woman? What has she done? You haven't even heard what I have to say about her. Oh, I don't need to because you have already said all that I needed to know. Listen son, I want you to kill whatever thing you are trying to build with that maiden. Kill it immediately. Father, my meeting with that maiden was divine. I told you about a particular song that will not leave my lips. And how this maiden said something concerning the song. Oh, Osobiel, what do you want to do? Become a singer? Take her all around town singing for her? I heard you even had her attended to. Like a princess? How could you, Osobiel? How could you? Father, sometimes I don't understand you. Hospitality is a part of our culture. Especially for people visiting for the first time. How can you now suddenly have a problem with that? Listen, son. You will do just two things for me. One. Never bring that maiden into my court again. And two. See her no more. Don't even ask me why. For what I have just said is a direct order from a zoo of women. 
Father, what if the only reason I want to see her is because I love her? Ozobel, you have gone crazy. You have gone crazy. That is the only reason you have the guts to utter those words when I have given an order. Leave my face. Leave. Father, I am not interested in all these titles and ceremonies that make you stand out. I am me. And I will always remain me. I love this maiden. I will never stop seeing her because she has become a core part of my life. Who I want to be with? What, what's all these restrictions? What does she don't want that she doesn't want to be with her? Ozobel. Explain the meaning of that rubbish you earlier said that you have grown big enough to disobey me. You! Father, I have never disobeyed you. And that's because you come up with good ideas and reasons and explanations. But I'm sorry in this case, I will have to disobey you. You will do no such thing. And you will not marry that maiden from Adaburi. Do you hear me? Why? You're not giving me any reason. That's the problem. Why don't you want me to marry her? What has she done wrong, father? Moreover, you haven't even met the maiden in question. I do not need to see her. Before I know, she is wrong for my son. She must hear me. Okay, father, fine. But give me a reason at least. Let me know why you are giving me all these restrictions. Let me even understand where you're coming from. Or at least allow me to bring her to you so you can see her for yourself. Over my dead body. Never. I do not want to see her or have anything to do with her. Walk out on me. No. Go. No. You can marry any woman from any other place. But not a double way. No! Ujumwa, what is it? What are you doing here? I am here to see my friend. And who is that your friend? My friend's name is Agoma. <laughs> It is so painful that I am surrounded by people who claim they are my friends. People who do not know the slightest thing it takes for someone to be a friend. Abomma here would rather be alone than surround herself with people like that. Did you hear me? Huh. You've been insinuating that I've been a bad friend to you, Abom. Mm. I have examined myself. I cannot even see where I went wrong. Mm. It makes me very uncomfortable. That's why I keep coming, Abomma. So, what is the essence of this sermon? Even if it's the last thing you do for me, even if you don't want this friendship anymore, tell me where I went wrong. Tell me where I have offended you. Mm. Let me apologize to you because apologizing to you will make a whole lot of difference to me. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. I see. Since you claim to be so ignorant of what you have done, I will let you know. Oh, sit down. Will you not say anything to me? Or will you let me stand here like a fool? Maka, what is it? I don't understand why you won't let me have my peace. Oh, you want to have your peace when I'm worried? If you are worried, then that's because you want to be worried. I don't understand how I am the cause or the reason or part of your worry. The news is everywhere that you brought a maiden into this court and treated her like a princess. And you say you have nothing to do with my worries. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wait, how, how is that your problem? How will you be this insensitive? I've lived in this kingdom with you all these years. We've been friends, Ozobialo. And not even for once have you treated me like a princess. No 
Not even for once did you have your maids that work here attend to me. Then this stranger comes and you dig all that for hey, her. Hey, 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 point of correction. Aboma is not a stranger to me. Then who is tell me? Of course, who is she? I will tell you. She's someone I love with all my heart. And I plan to spend a very long time with you. Aboma, you are joking. You are joking. Tell me the true reason you've been avoiding me. <laughs> you and I know that I'm not a joker. I am only telling you this because I want you to stop disturbing me. Not like I care how you feel or how you react to it. That's a lie. In fact, that's the most ridiculous lie I've ever heard in my entire life. Uzamili could not have told you that. Well, she did. And at the time she told me, I believed she cared. Not until she proved otherwise. Ujuma, see, I do not want both of you to disturb me again. So leave me alone. Agwama. I have not said anything concerning your refusal to suit us. Mm. I did not say anything to Uzomili. Mm. I didn't even say anything to anyone else. So, 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 stories that touch the hearts. Aguma, I am serious. Listen, we've been through this together. We've been in this together. You told me your reasons for rejecting each of these suitors and I stood by you the whole time. Now, why would I turn around and make it a topic of discussion? I do me? not want to hear anything from you again, Ujuma. I don't even care about the answer to that question. All I want for you is to stop disturbing me. Leave me alone. It is not my fault to be my friend. You asked why I avoid you and I told you. What do you want from me again? Get up and leave, Biko. Leave my house. But right before I leave, I am coming to prove to you the kind of friend I have been to you. Nicolara, Manasekensi, pass ya. You go that one, Akokos. Look at that. What they want to do is to come close to you, gather all the information and topics they want, so that when they go under the tree, they start to open their mouth and gossip and use you as topic. Let me see you here again. I'm asking you, Zobialo, what do you mean by you would be with her for a very long time? I like her. Okay, wait, let me explain this to you. I love her. And if she truly feels the same for me, I will marry her. You will marry her? What about me? What happens to me? What do you mean, what happens to you? Yes, what happens to me if you marry her? Hold on. I'm like, I hope you're not having a in your head. Did I ever promise you marriage? Why are you saying this to me? You know how I feel about you. You know all I want is to be with you. And you're saying this to me. Wait, wait, please. I've had enough headache and drama for one day, please. If you don't mind, I need to go get some rest. We'll talk later. So, all this while, he felt nothing for me. All this while, I have been fooling myself? No, I will not let this happen. I love him. I want him. I should be his wife. Yes, Amaka must be Ozobialu's wife. Nobody can stop that. Sorry, I was in the kitchen. Welcome. I hope all is well. All is well. Agwama's mother said to me. She says she wants to see both of us. You and I. I hope there is no problem. Well, I was curious too, but she didn't sound like there's any. I doubt that. I doubt, I doubt it because 
Aboma came to my house the other day, barking like a dog. Because her mother found out she went in search of that man from Umuiz. Umuiz? Which man from Umuiz? Oh. I forgot she's not even talking to you. But by the way, what did you even do to her? I asked you the same question the other day. How have I offended Agbon? How did I offend her? <laughs> My dear, you don't need to worry about that, okay? Because being her friend is heartbreaking. No man will ever notice you. Because Aboma will overshadow you with her witchcraft. And when this man starts developing interest in her, she turns them down. She will not let you get noticed and she will not accept them. Uzo, please, let us go and answer her mother, the ever elegant Udali Igwe. Don't you think so? I hope it's not about that stupid Aboma's love at first sight. That man from Umwezi. Uzo. After treating our men like idiots, she thinks she will end in Umwezi. Okuya? Uzo. I have a whole lot of other things to take care of today. I'm coming. Let me go. Please. Do. Let's go. Mandeo. 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 No. Is she not the one you said I wanted to see you? She is. Ujuma, are you alright? She is, yet she's leaving. Uzo, let us wait for her. I am sure she won't take long. Juma, what is the meaning of this? The meaning is simple. Uzomi, I need you to tell Agbonma here in my presence where and how you saw me with a group of ladies discussing her inability to accept the future. Mwa. I am still waiting. And when you're done telling us that, I also need you to tell us where and how I told you that her inability to accept a suitor is as a result of the evil spirit she's possessed with. Take. Who's Why are you keeping quiet? Say something. I have something to do at the back. Uh, uh, Amoma, I do not understand any of this. Did I actually tell you Juma said any of this? Hey! Please, man. What? What did you just say? Are you going to deny this in my very presence? I, I'm, I'm not denying anything. It's just the way you people are presenting it. Eh? Even involving uh, Ajani, Mother Earth. Eh? This is, it's not fair. I'm your friend. And it's no good to conspire against a friend. I am vindicated. Uzomi, you are so pathetic. You can be this evil. How did it take me this long to realize who you truly are? So I wasted my time being your friend. Hey, to cut this whole story short. Aboma, you see all those things Uzomi told you that I said about you. She was actually the one who said all that. I was the one who was even trying to caution her. This clearing of the stream happens every Ekef before the festival of Anawe Madu. Whoever fails to participate must be punished. Including your friend Aguma, because I'm not seeing her here yet. There are no exceptions. 
whoever the person is, my friend or enemy. But there's a reason Agwama is not here. And what could that reason a be? A reason you already know about. Oh, how could I forget? She turned down another suitor yesterday after the evil spirit possessed her again. <laughs> surprise. Agoma is my friend. I know her too well. I know what her problem is. She is possessed by a strong demon that does not want her to settle down. She has tried to fight it. But alas, she cannot. I'm shocked with your revelation. I had almost believed that something is wrong with that girl. Thank you, my sister. That is exactly the point. That is exactly the point. The mummy spirit in her is at work. And the worst is that those of us who are close to her end up being the victims. Because once she turns down these suitors, they end up not noticing anyone around her. Even when you try to press hard. What's up, me? Are we here to clean the string as supposed? Or we are here to discuss another? Answer me! Biko, take it easy. Why are you throwing this things at me? Ha! Oh! Why won't I talk to you like that? Let me tell you. What you did was wrong. It was wrong. But the truth is always bitter. What stupid truth are you talking about? That I got my possessed by an evil spirit. Is that what you call truth? Of course. Haven't you noticed? Eh, the question should be the other way around. How could you possibly think such about your own friend? And you even said it publicly. Who's on me? <laughs> Some people are fully blind with their eyes wide open. I, I, I don't want to believe that you're comfortable with the fact that Aboma brings bad luck to us. Aboma brings bad luck to no one. Have you taken your time to find out why Aboma has been refusing those men? No, you haven't. I don't think so. Wait, let me tell you. That is what you're supposed to do as a friend. Not going about telling people wrong things about her. Yes, that's what you're supposed to do. Jere, Bagwagi. Pray to God that she doesn't get to hear all you've been saying about her. Because if she does, it will be bad. Really, really bad. Hey! Aboma has to be caught in spirit. She's really possessed. I can see. Would you mind talking to me like this because of our mama? She has caught you, she has caught you. Now I believe she's fully possessed. Hey! Hey! Would you mind? You're talking to me like this because of our mama? What did you ever do? Hey! Oh, Uzomili, I cannot believe that you turned around and told all these things to our mama when you're actually the bad person here. Eh, 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 Ujumwa, do not call me names. I'm not the bad person. I will call you names. You are a bad person and I will say it over and over again. I was even trying to be matured with you. But you were up to something and I did not even notice. <sighs> Aboma, you have to listen to me. You, you have to listen to me. I, I'm... Ujumwa is just being jealous because you no longer talk to her. Yes, I no longer talk to her because of the lies you fed me with. Well, congratulations. Because you succeeded in destroying our friendship. When you are the one I should have avoided in the first place. Avoid me? Ah, oh, Awoma. I am not as bad as you think. Uzomili, you know what? 
just get out. Get out of my father's compound and never you set your foot here again. Because if you do, that day I will avenge for all the damage you caused to my image. Oh my get out! If I need to know where we go, if I need to know what can I do, my name will be no one is anymore. It's all for when the mother. I seem to find a season where we go. I'm very sad and wounded, Papa. It appears as if I've, I've been fooling myself all this while. You have not, my daughter. Don't say that. Listen, all you need to do is to work harder now that you have a competitor. But he, he sees me as a friend and nothing more. Listen, Amaka. Ozobelo sees you as a friend because you allowed it to be so. Or are you going to allow him to go on with this is new foolishness. You have an advantage over every other person because you know him. Because you know him like no one else does. You have been with him all your life. What do I do now? What do I do now? I'm confused. But he's beginning to avoid me. Amaka, no woman asks such question. If truly she loves a man, I believe you know what to do. Come to me if you need my assistance in any way. But do not allow any woman, whoever she is, to snatch the man you have nurtured all these years. I, Jesus of Umes, will never be happy if that happens. Ujumwa, Ujumwa, Ujumwa. What is it? Why are you blocking my path, Agboma? Why? Bikono, I was trying to talk to you the other day in my house, but you left. I know how you feel, and I'm sorry about it. I want to apologize. Agboma, listen to me. I don't really have to be your friend if you don't want. I want. And you know I really like you. It's just that Uzomili told me a lot of things that got me upset. And I was shocked that you, you could, you know, do, do such a thing to me. You should have confronted me. That is what real friends do. That's what you should have done. No, not treat me as if I'm, 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 I'm one sworn enemy to you. I'm sorry. I know. I misbehaved. It's just... I'm, I apologize. Oh, no. Biko. Listen. Eh? I was just angry. I am not the best medium. I am not perfect as well. But there are certain things that my conscience would not let me do to anyone. Especially the ones I call my friends. I know. That's why I'm apologizing to you. So can you still call me your friend? Depends. Depends on if you won't hide anything from me again. Me? I won't hide anything from you again. So, new friendship for us. New friendship. <laughs> hey, Dalo. Oh, thank you very much. It's okay. So, will you follow me to the spring? Ah, uh -uh. in Aju Aju. Just let me know when you're ready. I'll go with you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll come and call you. Okay. When did you arrive? Could it be true after all? Are you really possessed? I wonder what is going on in that brain of yours. You're not happy I stopped you from singing. When did you become a singer, by the way? 
anybody can become anything at any time. Indeed. Let me remind you, my great grandfather, Ozu Madi of Umuiz, was the creator of Wamba singing and dancing group. You never can tell if the spirit of Wamba has come to me. Indeed. And was this the same song you sang for the maiden from Adabowen? You missed her, don't you? Yes, I do. Every day, all the time. I wish I knew her house. I wish I could just see her. She told me she was coming back, but she never did. A Amaka, you, you, you can help me, okay? You can travel to Adabowen and make inquiries for me. You, you're a maiden, so nobody will suspect you. You're not serious. You want me to help you locate a maiden that is about stealing my man from me? Ozobialo, when have you started going to Awotolu's house to smoke weed with the rest of them? What maiden is about stealing which man from you? And why would you link me with Awotolu? Why are you bent on breaking my heart, Ozobialo? Why? You not only told me that you have feelings for another maiden, now you're asking me to go help you locate her? I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're creating pictures in your mind, honestly. I'm sorry. I, I'm not sure I gave you any such impression that you and I are having anything, okay? I take you as my sister. Oh, maybe you did when you told me you're not interested in any woman. Yes. At the time I told you that I wasn't interested in any woman until Aboma came along. And then I fell for her. I, 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 I feel strongly for her and I cannot give it up, okay? Please. I am begging you, do not make any impressions about us. It, it won't work. I, I do not want us to ruin this years of friendship, okay? Hey, 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 Why are you staring at me as if you're seeing me for the very first time? What can I do? Okay, is it because of the dance and the music? Don't worry, they're nothing. Eh? Let us hurry up to the stream before those silly maidens who can mess the stream up. Oh? Oh, you knew about that. Yet you wasted all our time dancing like a mad woman. But you know, my dance was coordinated, one. It was very coordinated. Was I dancing like a mad woman? Don't make me regret telling you the things I've told you so far. Aboma, the madness is not in the dance step. Because even your enemies know that you are a very good dancer. The madness is you dancing to an unheard music. I watched you, you were dancing. Like That's madness. Mm -hmm.